Hey guys, what's happening? So, I have a SKR Mini E3 version 3 that's DOA. So I'm actually in the process of doing like a undermount kit for this uh, uh, CR10 S5. Um, but it's actually the second bad boy that I've had on this printer build here. Um, this is actually for a customer, but this is actually the E3 Mini version 2, and that's a version 3. And that thing is uh, the Z axis is DOA. And uh, I'll show you how to troubleshoot that, but I mean, I have printers piling up here, I gotta fix everywhere. Yeah, one of the things, issues about these big CR10 S5s, they're so big I can't even get on my workbench. So I have my laptop on the ground here. So let me show you the troubleshooting steps. Like, normally this would be a BL Touch, um, but in the troubleshooting process, sometimes if your uh, Z axis is triggered, it will actually act as like a, it, it won't allow the, what's it called, the Z axis to come down. Um, but I'm suspect, suspecting uh, bad traces. Like there's a bad trace on the, uh, on the board. So I, I even actually temporarily hooked up because I disabled the BL Touch while I was troubleshooting and I have it uh, just triggered the Z. So I can actually label it, so allows, allows me to move, actually move the axis. But right now, I, 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 in the troubleshooting process, I hooked up other motors to it. And I feel like only one of the coils is energizing. So I'm getting half resistance on the, on the stepper motor. Um, but yeah, I mean, I fix probably three to five 3D printers a week. And um, yeah, this is probably the first Big Tree Tech board that I've actually had DOA. And I, I've messed with the SKR2. 1.4, 1.3, 1.1, um, ever since they actually came out. Um, so let me show you, I'm going to log into my laptop here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And so I have Proner Faith configured here. Kind of sucks, like I said, I can't work on my workbench. So M119 command is the end stop trigger command. So if you can see, open, 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 so it's, none of them's triggered, right? So I should be able to move the Z axis. Nothing's triggered. Um, but let me show you this. That way you know it's communicating. I can move the X. I can move the... You can hear it go on. The fan... Uh, uh, let's see that. Y is working. See? So yeah, I'm in the process of doing like the whole undermount kit with the AC heated bed. Alright, let me show you this too. M122 command is communication with uh, TMC drivers. So I am getting communication. The, the reason why it says enabled now is because I just moved those access. It will say enabled when I'm actually moving the access. So it seems like I'm communicating right via UART. Um, and I kind of know what's going on with it. I mean, only, only half the coil is energized. I can feel it because I have slight resistance in the motor, right? It's not totally dead. Like it's not free spooling, like um, like this like this one's free spooling. So when you don't have any energy at the coil, it will free spool. But if you only have one coil act, you need two coils to to move it. Um, but with only one coil activated, it's creating resistance, but it's not allowing it to move. Um, all right, let me move it. Move the Z right here. Nothing. So the, I showed you the M119 command, just so nothing. Yeah, <sighs> it's a headache. I'm gonna have to put another board in there. So it's, it's just a headache dealing with the wires. But uh, yeah, this is a BL Tut setup. But like I said, disable that. I put stock Ender 3 firmware on there. Um, no BL Touch, and it should move, man. I, I don't know what the hell the deal is. Yeah. Okay. So I just did a movement. As you can see, they're all enabled. So Marlin is communicating with the uh, with the drivers, the Trinavic 2209 drivers, via UART. Um, but so I'm really suspecting that bad trace on the board. There's something not soldered right. So I'm not getting both coils coming from the driver to these little connectors right here. And you know, for the cost of the board, I don't want to sit there and take the board out and troubleshoot it when I can just get a new one sent out. Um, yeah, that'd be the first DOA Big Tree Tech board I ever had. And I've probably done at least, I mean, 30 to 50 of these things. I don't know, a lot of them. Um, but, alright, well, 
kind of a bummer. I have to take it all back out again. But all right, guys, cool.